Hey, this is Travis from Jakey Music. I'm here with Alan once again, our uh, shop coordinator. And we're just um, here to take a look at another great professional horn, this time a Selmer uh, TS44M. Um, this is basically uh, what you would call a uh, an introductory pro horn. So it's kind of, uh, in terms of pricing and features, it's on the um, more affordable side of the spectrum that is pro and custom horns. Um, I'll try and show you the inside here. It's a uh, really nice padded case. Um, it's a, in fact, a BAM uh, backpack case. So the straps are in here. It's uh, Velcroed in there, you can kind of see. And uh, we've got a nice, nice front zipper pocket here. Everything's all padded nicely. Um, the let's get around here to the, get some of this stuff out of here to show off. Go and hold this for me, Alan. Alan's gonna hold this. Be a good, good coworker for me. Um, so just to show you what comes in it comes with the uh, custom whoop, custom uh, Paris neck. We've got a bag for it here. You get all your accessories. So neck strap, there's a case strap if you want to carry it slung over your shoulder. We have uh, the cap and ligature in there with cork grease and a polishing cloth. And then it actually comes with a um, Selmer Paris mouthpiece as well, which, there we go, try and get that in focus. Okay, thank you. You can put it up right over there. We'll take a look at the horn itself. Take the cap off. So, as you may be able to tell, this is not your standard uh, look for a sax, right? Um, the M in the TS44M stands for matte, uh, because this is a really beautiful matte finish. It's like a brush kind of lacquer, but it's um, it's done really well. Even when you get nice up and, and close to it, you can see it's, uh, even with the engraving, done really tastefully down here as well. And, um, you know, Selmer is known for putting all the nice little touches on the horns that you want to see. So, got the nice little Selmer S there. If you actually look, let's see if I can get this angled correctly. On the thumb hook there, it says Selmer. So they really, they really go out to make sure that the horn you have is is one that you're going to like. And of course, the nice Selmer series, you know, 44 uh, engraving on the. Um, on the bell there. Um, and then here, here is our neck. This is a really nice neck. Um, as you know, I might have said before, I'm not a sax player. You can see here, um, it's the reason I'm saying I'm not a sax player is because I even know that this is a good neck. It's manufactured by Selmer Paris. Here is that. Um, it's widely regarded as one of the first series of saxophones that's a collaboration between uh, Selmer Paris, you know, Henri Selmer, and um, and the U.S. Um, branch of Selmer to kind of produce a horn that is. I mean, really good in terms of quality of sound and materials, but also not as expensive as you might think it would be. Um, especially when you're comparing it to something like a Reference 54 or a Series 3, if you're familiar with those horns as well. Um, that's definitely going to be something that's on the more expensive side um, of the professional scale. Uh, just a couple things that I didn't quite mention before. It comes with um, blue steeled springs for great response 
and Pisoni uh, Pro pads, which are fantastic, um, fantastic leather pads. It's got a warm, rich sound, which is perfect for classical or jazz. Um, so it's quite a you know versatile horn. And then um, it's because it's on the more affordable side of the professional, you know, the introductory professional horns. Um, it might not be necessarily the best pick for someone who's like, say, a recording artist or something like that. Um, but anyone who wants to sound really good and maybe doesn't necessarily do do this for a living, but maybe plays at home, plays in church, whatever it is, this is a perfect horn for for you, especially if you are looking to get the most out of your sound. So. I'll stop talking, I'll let Alan go ahead and give us a play test so we can hear how this guy sounds. <laughs> Salsa gig, mm -hmm. and also it's got warm sound if you're doing something like uh, classical or some A twos and stuff like that. So right. Yeah, it's very, very so that's that flexibility. Flexible, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. And it feels good too. Yeah. Really Sweet. Good sound. Well, yeah. um, thank you so much for giving us a yeah. play test on that. Sounds fantastic. Um, hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Um, of course. Let us know if you have any other, you know, questions or or uh, observations about the instrument um, by, you know, either contacting us directly, leaving um, leaving a comment below, whatever it is. Um, you know, please feel free to like, subscribe, all that good stuff that everyone always tells you to do on YouTube. Um, if you're watching this on our Facebook instead of our YouTube. Head on over there, um, check out what we have. We are featuring some videos on uh, on our social media, but for the most part, um, we're uploading everything to YouTube. So uh, with that, once again, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks. <laughs>